Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the double OP CRUD application using C Sharp .NET. Let I show the demo first. Uh, here we have student name we have to enter as Peter. Course I am going to enter as C Sharp. Fee I am going to enter as 10, 12,000. Hit save button. Record error. Click view button. Here you will be able to see Peter course C Sharp. 12,000. It added the table successfully. Uh, so let me see how to do this uh, system step by step. Right. Now let's back to our uh, Visual Studio. So you have to go to the file new project. Click Windows application. Uh, C sharp Windows application. Here I'm going to select as double OP. Click OK. Okay. Now your project has created successfully with the name of uh, right. Now what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to design the form. But first let's go to the toolbox. You have to type label, drag and drop over here. Name it as WP cred. Cred. C sharp dot net. Enter key. Select this one. Font. Bold. Twenty four. Now what I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, design the form. So let's increase the form a little bit bigger. For the toolbox, here we have to get the tool of group box. Select and drag and drop. It's a group box. Group box. I'm going to name this one as a uh, student. Info student. Press enter key. So inside that group box, I'm going to drag some. Uh, fields label drag and drop this label I'm going to name it as student select this one font bold with 12 student name same thing control C to copy control V to get another copy select this one control C to copy control V to paste another copy this one should be course Again, this control C, copy control V. This one should be the fee. Now drag the text uh, text fields, text boxes. right now I'm going to change the name now I'm going to name this one select this one uh, txt name txt course txt fee drag the data grid view drag and drop over here so your button this one save this one control C to copy control V this one should be save this one should be view Select this one, uh, foreground color 36. Foreground color, I am going to change it as I would, I would change it as red. Right, perfect. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to make the application. So, select the form, 
I'm going to change the title as double OP correct. correct. Perfect. It would be the perfect one. It would be the perfect. Okay. Perfect. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here first I'm going to create a class the WP application right click uh, here we have add, add new item class class I'm going to stdus2 class I'm going to create now you have to implement some variables so I don't need to write again I already written so that I have explained it Now here let's go to the database. Uh, you have to install SQL Server's database. So I have created the database which name is test bv. Right click new database. Here you have to uh, give the database name over here. Click OK. After create the database it looks like this. Uh, if you click this plus sign you will be expand the database. Okay so here data inside the data we have a table called stood. So how to create the table right click new table. Here you have to specify the columns, ID, you have to uh, select the relevant data type of all the stuff you have to made, made here. Okay, so here I will done the all the tables creation. Okay, right, uh, ID, student name, course and fee. Okay, you have to make, if you go to the design, this is a design, ID, you are right click and set the primary key, uh, data type print, student name, course watcher, this is how you have created the table. This is the increment part. You have to select the ID. You have to increment here. Identity specification. Select as is identity true. Yes. Then only it will be incremented once you add the record one by one. Okay. That's how we have to do the uh, table creation part. Right. After that, we have to specify the color. These are the uh, properties I have. You have to specify. You have to get and set method. You have to set it. Okay. This is how we have created create the set, uh, get and set method. How did what I did here is uh, public void reg. I am going to create the method void reg. We have passed three arguments: student name, course, and fee. We have assembled this database connection. How did we have to create a simple query string? Uh, this is the table name, which is this one. We have specified the column names. What the columns names they are? ST name, course, and fee. We have to get rid of uh, here this one uh, auto increment part. We have to give the another rest of the columns names. This is auto increment part you don't need to give right. So, estimate course and fee values. What are the values you are passing here? Name, course, and fee. These are the arguments you are passing here. Select identity means this auto incremented part. You have to pass it as a select identity. So, open it. SQL, you have to command check it. Here, this one should be the scalar method. It is using to uh, find the last insert ID. Right, that's the thing you have to do at the records. Okay. Okay, the, when you call this method, it will be at the record. So we have to go to the form. Okay, this one should be the txt name. We have changed the names successfully. Over here. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, here we have changed the name over here. What I'm going to do do here is now first what I'm going to. Uh, I just copy and paste it and I got, I, I'll explain it right so here I am going to get this car class where this all the methods how to get get them here is you have to write this one okay now reg method I am not still I'm not copy and paste it I will be explain it it's this all the stuff I just copy and paste it you understand the stuff well okay right after we have created the this one should be sql class so we have to implement the namespace using system dot data dot sql client so implement the, all the classes will be decided on this namespace okay so first we have to create the method reg we are passing three arguments name and course and fee here we have to write the sql establish a database connection uh, this is a local server dot Insert title log means this is a database name, but it's a database name. This is user credential of SQL server. 
uh, when you log the SQL server, what is the user credential? Okay. SA123 is uh, my password. Yeah, you can give give your credential you, uh, login credential of SQL server. My one is 123 SA123. Okay. After that, this is the query. We have to insert the query insert into this is the specified columns. Okay, this is the arguments. What is the data you are passing? Okay. Select and identity, all the stuff I explain it. So what 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 is the thing here here going in here is what if you are enter the data, what happens is click save button, what happens is here you have to create the object of the class. This is a class name which is std. We have created the object ss this reg, we are calling the math that reg, we are passing this form data. What is the uh, data reside on the uh, name and course and fee? This all the data go to this method and get receive them here. The all the data it will receive them and we put into the relevant columns here, values here. So it will be added the records. Okay, after added the record, receive the value, it message will be displayed, record it. Okay, after that we have to give the record. Uh, it is very simple. Okay. Here the we have this one. Okay. Here is a list. We have to create the list of objects. Okay, list of values. Student is a class name. This is a student. Student is a class name. We have to create the method get all students list to we have to create the object list of objects list. We have to accept the database connection. We have to write the SQL queries. Select all from student mean. We have to load all the records from the student table. Put it to this variable. Open the connection. SQL command will be, it will be checking whether the connection, SQL connection, and uh, SQL query both are succeeded or not. If it is succeed, it goes to the while loop, and it will be setting the relevant values. Okay. Uh, S dot C I D me this one. This all the things are we are setting to uh, our database name. Database name name. This is the database. Uh, these are the values. These, these are the uh, database table columns. Same name. This name. This name here. We have to specify the name. All the names over here. It set is the relevant variables uh, here. Okay. Click L I dot add S mean. If you click add the list and uh, return L mean, it will be returning to the form here you have to uh, call the cl get all the student uh, data grid view one uh, data source cl i mean cl it will load the uh, record will be when you click this button it's loading okay so it, it will be loading like this so click this one it will be loading like this this how we have made the simple credit application in c sharp dot uh, i hope you guys you understood the credit application well if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime uh, this is all the codes I will provide in my tutorsony.com website. You will be able to download and use it to your project. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.